Now that you're set up using web conferencing tools such as Zoom or GoToMeeting or Google Hangout or Skype, whether you teach dancing or an instrument or singing, whatever it may be, many of you guys run into additional issues, which is how do I look better? Not even my best, how do I look better on camera? What do I need? Are there tools that do multiple things such as a webcam that also is a microphone um, what if my camera isn't stable where should i place my iphone where where should i place my webcam uh do i need a microphone what type of microphones that won't break the bank that will make me sound really good do i need a tripod what types of tripods are out there last but not least lighting kit what are those things? How much do they cost? And where should I place them in the room? Where should I be in the room? If you're teaching your classes through an iPhone such as this, you may be wondering, I am cropped so close uh, to my face. So you can create a wider angle like this without buying a thousand dollar camera and you're done. This is the video for you to check out. I'm going to explain everything in plain English. You don't have to be a camera person, an audio engineer or expert. I'm here to help you get started ASAP without breaking the bank. This is for anyone to be able to learn very quickly how you're able to transform and reinvent your own work from teaching in person to now doing it online uh, in real time. So what I'm talking into right now is a Logitech HD 1080p webcam. Now, uh, in the order of the things I'm going to talk about, including first, I want to talk about the webcam because this is the queen of all of this. If a webcam can do as much as possible, you save money, hassle, um, and you know, get the right one. And also, we'll talk about when and why you might need a tripod to hold this webcam if you're not talking directly into your computer or into the webcam, as I'm doing right now. Um, thirdly, how to light yourself if your if the light in your room is very unpredictable or you're working in the basement sort of thing uh, you know you need light of some sort and last but not least microphones whether you need to sound really good um, if you teach uh, an instrument as an instructor you don't need to sound great meaning your voice but you might need to be able to hear really clearly in terms of the students or how the students is playing now if you are a singing instructor or if you're a singing student on both end of the spectrum you need to be able to sound clearly enough as if you're in the same room so let's get started number one I want to talk about this HD Logitech 1080p webcam. Now, this camera is actually sold out in a lot of the places, but there are also other alternative versions. Now, I'm going to show you something because you're able to easily move this camera. And now I'm talking to you, but I'm changing different angles of the room. Now, what's also helpful is that uh, now, if I want to focus my hand, for example, if I'm playing the piano, and you can actually position this camera where it is right now, as opposed to looking straight to the camera, if that makes sense. So you can move it very, very easily. This uh, is how a Logitech webcam sits on a computer. It can grab onto any edges of the computer, whether it's your desktop or your laptop, and you can basically adjust the back. It won't fall off. On top of that, you can further adjust the angle here, pointing up or down like that. You won't need a lot of range, but I find this feature to be really helpful. Now, another benefit of the same webcam is it actually comes with a built-in microphone. So if you don't require super crisp, high quality sound, this one will do and actually sounds pretty clear. Now, this microphone I'm using, this is uh, a quite fancy one. Uh, it's a Newman microphone and it was a really big investment for us, but there are many other alternatives as well. I'll show you real quick. I'm a huge fan of this microphone. In fact, uh, I've used it for many years as a podcaster, and this one is called Audio Technica, and specific model number is ATR2100 USB. And it's so convenient because not only it comes with XLR, it actually also comes with USB, which you can plug in and play right away without configuration, without a audio uh, interface. Now, another thing you might be thinking about is, we talked about a tripod. If you need to hold this camera at different angles, what you want to consider is a tripod, large or small, depending on how you're setting things up. So let me show you a standard larger tripod. 
as you can see, this tripod is an Amazon basic tripod. I'll include all the links to the products I'm referring to, and it will hold heavier weights, will hold bigger products. Um, so for example, if you're somehow uh, trying to create many different angles or, or if you're playing a bigger instrument that you really need, like an overhead shot, you might need this. Otherwise, you know, a smaller tripod might just do it. Let me show you a smaller version. Now, this is a much smaller version, a much cheaper version of a tripod. And this is a iPhone holder, as you can see. You can find an equivalent of an iPad holder, which I'll link below as well. This is an equivalent of an iPad holder. As you can see, it's just simply bigger. What I like about this um, model is that you can actually bend it, you can wrap it around it, like it's very flexible. So you can position however way you want. Now, last thing I will talk about are lights, which I'm gonna turn this video off so you can see the details of uh, a simple light that you can set up in your office. Again, if you have a very bright light, a very efficient one, you might not even need it. So I would say incrementally lights will maybe be the last one because when you teach lessons or when you're receiving lessons, it doesn't really matter how good you look, I guess, you know what I mean? But if you're doing live streaming as an instructor, broadcasting to 50, 100 different people, yeah, the quality requirements may be different. All right, so as it turned out, um, you guys, through the video that you're watching, this is the light I'm using, which I'm gonna include a link below. I literally bought three of these lights and I absolutely love them. Now the light uh, that I constantly use in my office are these from Newer. And the reason is very simple that, you know, these are video lights really designed for YouTubers and people who are teaching at home. Very simple to set up because you just literally plug it in. It comes with batteries as well, which I don't use when I'm home. And you can adjust these yellow versus white tone. And you get two of these, get your two, three point light shooting, uh, you're done. This light is pretty basic. I know it looks really good. Um, but it gives you that additional backlight if you need it. Last but not least, these are my newer ring light. As you can see here, I'll include a link. A lot of people like ring lights because uh, they are really simple to set up. You got one thing as opposed to two things. You place it in front of your face. It's relatively powerful and also more affordable. So generally cheaper than when you get the regular studio light. So you can create a wider angle like this without buying a thousand dollar camera and you're done. The tiny little tool that did it was just this. It widens the camera angle for your smartphone. So there are many different models and this is the one I choose to use that has really good reviews on Amazon. So I'll include links to this product and everything I talk about via this video in the description below. So that's it. Uh, the most important part of Zoom and teaching on Zoom is that you do need some practice, but trust me, I guarantee you, I have clients in their 60s and they will get used to it over time. So it's about building confidence and now it's very uncomfortable to start teaching online as opposed to be in person. It seems like nothing replaces the in-person experience, but given uh, the situation we're in and, and sometimes to find the best teachers, you might not be living in the same states or even the same country. This will give you more leverage and options options uh, during and after the crisis. Thank you so much for watching. Please take good care. And it means so much that you're here. Hit the bell button because I want to see you in the next video. Bye for now.